soft kind of smoky look using really neutral grays and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Naked Eye Soft and Sexy Shadow Collection palette. It looks like this and I asked you guys on Instagram what palette you wanted me to use for my next tutorial and you guys said this one, a majority of you, so I'm going to be using this and if you want to see how to create this look step by step then keep watching. I've already got the look completed on one eye and now I'm going to begin with my other eye. The first color I'm using from this palette is called Pillow Talk. It's like a soft light gray shade and using a fluffy flat shader brush like this one, this one is from e.l.f., I'm just going to pack that color all onto my lid. I've already applied the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer to prime my lids but you can use any primer that you like. I find it really important to layer this um, shade and really pack it on just because the colors in this palette aren't too pigmented so you really have to pack them on in order to get a nice pigmentation going from them. Now I'm going to be using this shade called Pink Cheeks which is a light pink luminescent shade and with that same brush just flipping it over I'm going to apply that product onto the inner fourth of my eyelid and as well as onto my tear duct, just brightening up that inner corner and bringing it down onto the lower lash line just a little bit. And then with the rest of the product, I'm just patting it onto the rest of my lid. The next shade I'm using is this darker gray. It's almost like a taupey gray color. It's called Like a Virgin. And on an angled brush like this one, this brush is also from e.l.f., I'm going to stamp it onto the outer corner and then bring it into my crease just building up a nice dark outline onto the outer corner and then again bringing it in. And once again these colors aren't too pigmented so you really want to go over to get a nice dark gray effect and based on how smoky you want this look to be you can build up the gray color more and more and with whatever's left over on the brush just bring it into your crease to define it a little bit. And just clean that up if you have to, which is what I did with my finger. And then again, reapplying it a bit, bringing it into the lash line a little bit. And then again, with the rest of the product, just bring it into the crease. Now I'm going to use that darker gray as well as that matte black shadow. One is called Lap Dance and the other is the matte black in the palette. And the reason I mix these two colors are together is because I don't want such a dramatic, dark, um eyeshadow from that dark black, I want to tone it down a little bit by adding that gray shadow to it. And with that same angled brush, I'm going to get it mainly on the tops of my lower la of my upper lash line, just that outer corner of it, and then with the rest of the product, I'm just going to bring it into the outer corner of my crease a little bit. And this is going to really define the eye, give it a nice shape, sort of winging it out a little bit. Now that I did that step, I'm going to take the matte black eyeshadow and with a flat angled brush like this one. I'm going to use that eyeshadow as an eyeliner and I'm just going to draw a winged out eye look onto the tops of my upper lash line and bring the color all the way down and it's almost as if we're using a gel liner except I'm using the matte black eyeshadow in its place and this is going to have a nice smoky effect just because that eyeshadow has a soft finish to it as opposed to a gel liner would have a bit of a harsher finish to it. And there I'm just winging it out a little bit and then connecting it into the upper lash line. This is going to really um, make my eyes much more intense this step. Now I'm going to take a the um, white shade, it's like a off-white shade, it's called In the Buff and getting it on a flat kind of defined brush like this one. I'm going to apply it right above my brow bone or onto my brow bone to highlight it. And now I'm going to take that like a virgin shade, that dark gray shade, and with a flat, um, precise brush like this one, I'm going to run that color all along my lower lash line. This is going to define my lashes. I'm not going to be using black liner on my lower lashes, so this step is important to help define the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take a black eyeliner, and I'm just going to use this on my top lashes to give them a little bit of definition. We've already got that black eyeshadow on it used as eyeliner, but this is just going to help um, make it a little bit more intense and it kind of pulls the upper lashes together and I'm kind of tie lining at the same time. And then for my lower lashes, I'm going to be using a white eyeliner. This one is from Wet n Wild and of course you can use any white eyeliner that you like and I'm just 
um, lining my lower or my waterline with this eyeliner. And the white eyeliner is just going to make your eyes look bigger. You're not going to really notice it. It's just going to brighten it up a little bit, making your eyes um, pop out a little bit more. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and this is just going to give it a nice shape and open up your eyes a little bit. So between that white eyeliner and curling your lashes, your eyes are going to look a little bit bigger from this look, which is always a good thing. And now I'm going to be using a mascara. I'm going to be using the Benefit Their Real Mascara, which is a great lengthening mascara. I think having um, lots of length and volume for this look in your lashes is very important. I find that it kind of ties the whole look together just because the eyes are so simple and muted. Um, you want something to kind of intensify the eyes a little bit more. So getting that on my lower lash line as well. I'm also going to take another mascara, one of my favorites, the L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black. This is just going to thicken up my lashes a little bit now that they're all lengthened and I'm just going to get that on my upper lashes as well as my bottom lashes and this is the completed eye look. Now that I've got my eyes complete, I'm going to highlight my face using High Beam from Benefit. It's just um, a really pretty liquidy um, pink light pink shimmer and I'm gonna dab that onto the tops of my cheekbones to give them a little bit of a healthy glow and the bottom of my forehead and top of my nose and I'm just gonna pat that in and then kinda blend it downwards like that and then for my cheeks I'm not gonna use bronzer but I'm gonna just use blush I'm using the Too Faced Leopard Love palette, sticking with that Too Faced um, product, and getting a fluffy brush like, where did it go? My counter is so messy. Um, oh, there it is. Sorry um, about that. Just using a fluffy brush like this one, I'm gonna first take this kind of peachy color. This is meant to be the bronzer of the palette. It's called Peach Leopard, but I'm going to get that onto the apples of my cheeks and just get it onto my cheekbones as if it's um, bronzer. Just like that. Kind of contouring my face a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to take this hot pink color and it's a very strong hot pink, so I don't want too much. I'm just going to get a little bit onto the apples of my cheeks. And we've got that peachy color I just put on before, so that should kind of tone down that bright pink color, and that is what I do to my face. And for my lips, I'm going to keep it simple just because the eyes are pretty simple, and I'm just going to use a um, pretty pink gloss. It's from Neutrogena. It's their Moisture Shine Gloss, and this is the shade 110 Fruity Pink. Um, it's just this really pretty kind of sparkly um, pink color and I'm just gonna get a nice even coat all over my lips just to add a little bit of shimmer and color and that is it that is the completed look hopefully you guys liked it and if you want to see more makeup tutorials and beauty videos, then check out the rest of my channel and hopefully subscribe if you like it. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, you guys.